Good morning. Um, it's Sunday morning, July the 17th, 11.22 a.m., and I just woke up. Um, let's see. Um, well, I've been awake since right around 11, laying here, stretching my legs. My legs are in a bit of pain. <sighs> I did sleep pretty good. I know I had to have slept solid because I didn't move. Didn't move. I laid in one position and I didn't move. <laughs> um, oh. How's your Sunday going to be? Is it going to be amazing? Going to do something today for yourself? I sure hope so, because you know you're worth it. All right, guys, you know what? You know the drill, and I'm going to put you through the whole drill this morning. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say good morning and let you know that I'm ready to start my day. Still alive after the 80-minute bike ride. Oh, but I can tell you, stretching and I can feel it in my ribs. I can feel it in um, my hips, not my hamstrings, nor my calves, because I think I've built them up with walking so that I uh, like just must be muscle. And you know what they say about lower body muscle. I hope it's true, because if I can get rid of the stomach fat. Praise the Lord. <laughs> um, I do my daily devotion. Uh, I know I don't show you that. It's That's a little more, more than I expect you all to even want to know about me. But uh, I do do daily devotion every day. And... Uh, and that's just the bit I leave out. But, uh, saying a prayer for you all this morning. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit cooler outside. I can feel it through my window. And uh, a little bit of overcast, mostly white sky. No, no bright blue clouds or anything like that. And um, I just. Uh, want you to know that I got a prayer in my heart for all of you and I'm so proud of the messages that I have when I wake up um, some people leave the most amazing words and inspira inspirational Uh, it's like guidelines for my day and it, it it really does help motivate me it really does it touches my heart uh, I have just now spent the last 22 minutes flicking through Facebook and I had some messages some really heartwarming messages and uh, just to know that I inspire somebody else as a, as a God sent to me because I need such inspiration for myself, um, such motivation and anything that I can get to help me move forward and, and keep going. Um, I want to show you view out my window. Uh, see, so it's it's been raining all night. It's a um, mountain over there looks fine, but there's a big blue, I mean a big black cloud up above. So 
Um, the mountain looks amazing, however. Alright guys. I do realize that making such long videos uh, puts a damper on a lot of you watching because you're so busy. But it's just something that I have to do for myself. So trust me, I don't, I don't mean for them to go on. I just have something to say. Sure, reading this one's a bit low, 5.9. Uh, I knew that because I was feeling so chilled. Uh, and the fact that my legs are hurting really bad. So now I um, have to go and uh, make sure I get a nutritious breakfast in me as soon as possible. And uh, uh, quite a bit of protein before I actually decide what exercise to do today. I know you guys have seen me give myself injection. That's the next thing. I think I'm numb to it now. Um, there's still tender, tender spots on my tummy. Um, that still hurt, but I, uh, I get through that. That pain is just like, you know, the pain you give. And I won't compare it with childbirth, but it's a pain you forget in a few seconds. Let's put it that way. The pain that I suffer doing exercise and different uh, other things is the pain that <clears throat> is a lot harder to get through and uh, a lot more memorable as it stays upon you for days and days and days. Ay, ay, ay. Good morning! <laughs> Just as I said all that, good morning, the sun actually come out for a visit. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I made my bed and opened and pulled the window back and then I was like, oh, the sun's, the sun is there. It's overcast and sunny. I am my living room now on the way to the kitchen. Ooh. I can see the sun coming through this one here as well. Enjoy the sun and sleep. 12, 15. Now, see how it takes me a while to do things. My roses. Let's see how the wind's blowing if you look. But we got some blue skies on this side of the house as opposed to the dark skies on the opposite side of the house. So yay! <sighs> Morning ritual. I still can't get over that I'm actually... I can see my entire frame in this mirror because before I couldn't fit in the mirror. <laughs> Sorry, no one wants to see me brush my teeth. Uh, but what I wanted to show was this nighty was brought to me when I was in the hospital when I first started this journey. And I couldn't wear it. Uh, it would go over my head, but then it was like an onion peel going down. And as soon as I got it to the bottom, then it would just roll right back up. It was very uncomfortable, to say the least. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you. that 
I cannot get over it. Um, this is when you know and realize that you're winning a fight, that you're fighting tooth and nail. And uh, the non-scale victories, make sure you note them and, uh, and think about it because I know that this was brought to me when I was in hospital with being 349 pounds and um, I could not wear it. Uh, I didn't have a nightie at the time and a friend, my, my friend Lynn brought this to me and uh, I don't know the size of it, I have no clue, but I do know that this was totally not the way it went up on my body. So, my scale victories mean so much. 290.6. I think it's 290. But, uh, oops, went off. Anyway, up a little. 290. Only a pound. That's okay. Not worried a bit. Oh my goodness, that's exactly what I needed. <clears throat> it smells really good in here. Mom's sitting here making little fairy cakes. I don't have them, but they have coconut in them and sultanas in them, a wee bit of sugar and flour. They don't rise very much, and they're only wee little, and they love them, but I don't have them. I used to. I used to eat about five or six of them. But I don't do that anymore. That is willpower. <laughs> I think it's willpower or just that I've, I've got it in my head that uh, that's not for me. See that? If you could smell it. Whoa. So there you see. My first 44 ounces of water is done. I recycle all my plastic. I've got five bags now. Two of my vitamins. My Akahi Berry and my Multivitamin. My others are in the other room. These are a few of the white water products that I can have. <coughs> Crisp. This is a new bar. It's supposed to be like a Mars bar. Two points each. This is a peanut bar. I break that up. Three points and put it in my uh, yogurt. This is a breakfast cereal bar. Two points. And uh, this one has protein in it and so does the nut bar. Now to decide what to have for breakfast. My first breakfast choice. So it looks like I'm deciding upon unsmoked extra trimmed back bacon. Weight Watchers, one point per piece. It's like a gammon or like ham. Totally stripped of fat and 35 calories per piece. 0.6 fat get over here in the sunlight so I can see and my husband can do what he's doing. Um, seven grams of protein per, per piece. Ooh, nice. And one, oh, sorry, point 
not 0.1 carbohydrate, 35 calories, 0.1 of fiber, 0.6 of fat. Yeah, that's just. I'm cooking three pieces. If I eat all three pieces of it, it will be three points and 21 grams of protein. As you can see, I did not put any oil into this frying pan. I, uh, I told you, I braise all my meats. So I'll add hot water from the kettle that I boil for my coffee. A little at a time. It'll brown it and braise it and it'll be gorgeous. That water will cook out and it'll go brown. I decided on a veggie omelet with egg whites. And uh, I'm going to show you this now. Let me get the kettle. You see those Weight Watchers bacon? You see how brown it is? That's what it does. This is what gives it such a wonderful taste. This is unsmoked, and you can buy smoked. And then those juices that I have in there, when I put the onions and the spinach and the tomato in for my omelet, oh my goodness, the flavor that this will give it it's just amazing. Now, no oil is used in this. So, the rashers that are still are still 1.8, right? Cooked in no oil. Um, because I don't, I don't, I don't need that oil. And if I did put the oil in, it, this is what it would be. Extra virgin olive oil. Because that's all I use. Right. Uh, the veggies for my omelet. We have a red ripe tomato, and that's about a fourth of an onion diced, and a big handful of baby lettuce. Really crispy and nice. So my Weight Watchers bacon is done. And I'll transfer it now to this little plate. All right. Now the onions going in first. And they need more water. We're going to pick up all the flavors from the bacon now, and we're going to translucent. I need smell-o-vision, I think. <laughs> See how they're going translucent and browning? Now, before the water goes, uh, the fluid, it's not actually water at this point, it's become a roux or a sauce, really, before it evaporates. I don't want to cook them till they are completely soft, because I like a little crunch in the omelet. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm going to give that about 30 seconds. I'm going to crack some black pepper on it. No salt. It'll taste too good to ruin it with salt, won't it? There we go. 
it's actually a little more than a cup and it will cook down. Okay, we've got three, three eggs. Uh, two of the yellows, one in this bowl for disregard. So we have three egg whites and one yolk, right? This makes it powerful amount of protein just as the bacon. Our bodies do need a little bit of fat, that's why I've left one yolk. As you can see, this is melting down, it's shriveling down as spinach does. As you can see, the Weight Watchers bacon has been cut into chunks. It's going back. Mm. Three egg whites, one egg yolk. Powerhouse. That's probably, I think, t like 20 grams of protein and only six fat. So that total arm up at this moment has 41 grams of protein. And your body can only consume so much protein, but all in all, it's a good way to start. Tomatoes always come off, but that's okay. They're from the Weight Watchers reduced fat, grated, mature Welsh cheese. One point, and that's for 20 grams. All right? Okay, so you turn it on. And then you zero it out. And then you weigh your 20 grams. Spot on. <laughs> Sprinkle that over the top of your, your omelet. That's enough to cover it, guys. Come on. You don't need all that other crap. This omelet is ready. Okay, guys, there's my omelet. It's exactly eight pro points. Um, it's topped with the Weight Watchers um, onion, herb, chive, cream cheese, which is one point for the amount that I have there. For one dollar, so I had two, so that made it eight points. That's my breakfast, guys. I don't think I could do this omelet justice, but it is absolutely delicious. Onion, spinach, tomato, three egg whites, one egg yolk, 20 grams of Weight Watchers mature cheddar cheese, 
cracked black pepper, which give it a little bit of a spice. And the top there is the Weight Watchers cream cheese with chives in it. One point. The total omelet is exactly seven points. With the coffee making eight point breakfast. The banana. The banana, as they say over here. The banana is zero points. One point for my coffee, eight point for my omelet, and it is divine. Hey guys, it's country, Tina. I've been on the bike for one minute, just starting. Uh, I've got on one, two, one, two, three, four layers, four layers and a pair of shorts uh, in fact shorts that I have never been able to wear ever ever so um, here we go let's see what I do today I'm going to make the best of the energy that I've got right now off of that powerhouse breakfast. Stay tuned to see more. As you can see, I'm just starting two minutes and 15 seconds in. Starting off slow is a little bit of a warm up. I'm already sweating with all these layers on my top. Everything was zeroed out. So I'm beginning anew. As you always know, that's the odometer. That's what the bike holds. Khaleesi. Khaleesi de Daenerys. I, I've named my bike Khaleesi Daenerys. She's the queen of the dragons. If you want to know. <laughs> queen of the dragons. Okay. She's holding my blood, sweat, and tears, my prayers, my laughter, my everything. So, let's see how we roll today, guys. Remember, my first 35 minutes is dedicated to quilting Connie B. Uh, go to WLSFA.org and you can see her story. She's the first recipient of weight loss surgery through WLSFA, funded totally by donations. And uh, great doctors, uh, Dr. Garth Davis, and uh, go to the site www. W L S F A dot org and you can click on the fundraiser button, click to donate and help save a life. Okay guys, I'm gonna roll on. I want to make sure that you can see how huge my stomach is. Although I can see the handles of the bike now, and I can put my hands on them, my stomach is huge. I don't know how or if people are aware how tiny my legs have gotten from all the walking and moving <coughs> and everything. Uh, my arms have gone down in some inches, but... Uh, I, you know, I, I, and I have lost 20 inches in my stomach before I started the inch challenge on the first of this month. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I'm going to try to show you exactly how big my stomach is. As you can see, I hope you can see, with every row on this bike, my stomach up and down. Mind you, it was down to here, right, on my leg. So it's pulled 
back that far. I've tried to document all of that. But if you can see, every single pump on the site, this is what my stomach does. This is where all my weight is. So don't think I'm no little girl, because you seriously need to take a closer look. Um, weighed in this morning at 290.6. I'll have a picture somewhere, or it might have been just 290. Who knows? But I'm maintaining holding my own as of the moment. I'm sad not to see that 28, but she'll be back before weigh-in day on Thursday. I am just focused on the exercise, the eating healthy, and the scale is just a tool to keep me knowing uh, what my body does because I do take medication and injections and things like that that can cause me to gain as much as 14, 15 pounds overnight. You all know this about me. I'm keeping it real with what I say to you. Uh, I have not had a binge since uh, the weekend of February 14th when I was in America and uh, knew that I was leaving on the 15th to come back home to my hubby in Wales, United Kingdom. I am grateful to God above for that. Grateful to all the research that I've done and all the knowledge that I've obtained not to have a binge. Even though I was turned down for weight loss surgery on June the 30th for the second time, I had a few days of sadness. I wouldn't classify it as depression, although I thought it was at first. I felt like a failure. And so many of you reached out to me and made me realize that I am by far not a failure and that I can do this on my own. And uh, with all the pain that I have in the back, the fibromyalgia, the disc problems, the diabetes, the chronic nerve damage, and everything, I am doing this. I need a total knee replacement on the right side, and because I've hindered or swayed that way for so, so long, it's caused the left knee to be in pain. Three months ago, I went to the orthopedic and they said that there was a piece, I think I told you this in a video, the size of a two pound coin that's come attached again. And trust me, I can hear it when every creak, especially going up and down the stairs, going down especially. I, I can't make that video because I know you can't hear me. <laughs> I'd have to hook up one of those sound machines to my knee, like an echo. But uh, there's definitely another piece in there that's come away, and I'm pressing through the pain. When you see me like this, that's me pushing through the pain. And uh, we all have that in us. We got it in us. It is up to you to pull it out, and lay it all out on the floor, and do what you got to do to get her done. Still rolling. I'm up 10 minutes and I'll see you in a few. Hey guys. In case I left anything out, this is Sunday, July the 17th. The first 35 minutes of my bike ride this is dedicated to quilting Connie B. first recipient weight loss surgery of WLSFA. I burned 305.7 calories. <sighs> 35 minutes and 12 seconds. As for you, Connie, that's for you. I do the rest for me. 
as always, Connie, you keep rolling, honey. Roll on, because that's how we roll. Just wanted to say my resting heart rate is at 72, but when I'm rolling at over four kilometers a minute or whatever that is, I'm rolling over four kilometers. I don't know how y'all do it, five miles an hour or 10 or whatever, but mine said 41 point something. Uh, my heart rate is at 148, uh, which is quite good, fat burning stage. All right, I'll be back with you. Somebody asked me why I listen to classical music in a private message while I exercise, while I ride this bike. And I wanted to address that because it might be too long to write, but uh, uh, it's part of living the fairy tale, isn't it? All the ups and downs and all the drama. Uh, you know, this music can go any any which way, this classical music that I'm listening to while riding this bike. Um, I could say I could be listening to Christian music, could be raps and country. I like it all, but this classical music is, to me, like I'm living uh, the fairy tale dream. As if I had already skipped this whole process. on the glass slippers and the petite amazing gorgeous visionary black dress that's my best way of describing why that's my answer and I'm sticking to it just going on for 40 minutes guys Guys, girls, <laughs> I don't know why I say guys every time, but you know, that's just how it is. Alright, I'm still on Mademoiselle Galicia Daenerys, and I, my pulse is at 148, resting pulse is 72, 70, I've just rolled over on the 71 minutes and 3, 4 seconds. My speed is, as you can see, distance I've traveled is 27.88 kilometers. That's the odometer reading. Uh, calories burned at the moment, 559. And it's still rolling, guys. In my mindset, I do have a goal for today. But as I said, just rolled over to 61 minutes, 40 seconds. And I'm still going. I'm going to keep going. I got a little bit more in me. The music is keeping me going. This bike. It's got my sweat, it's got my tears, it's got my prayers, it's got everything inside of me laid right out on top of it today. Everything's open, out, left here to lay. When I walk down these stairs, I take nothing with me except looking forward to what comes next. If I had any stress before I got on this bike, if I had any doubts in my mind, if I had any, anything that would worry, stress, and cause me pain, I'm leaving it here. I'm leaving it here. And when I walk down the steps, I'm going with a clear mind. 
knowing that I've been my best today. Knowing that I'm eating right. Knowing that I pray to God every day for all of you and myself and the nation, the world, whatever, universe, whatever. That we can all have peace and comfort and a, a, a good heart. Because a good heart, without a good heart, we do need to look for something different. Okay, guys? I'm still rolling. And I'll be back in a few to show you what I rolled to. 717 calories burned in 78 minutes. I broke my yesterday's record. It took me over 80 minutes. 78 minutes, 26 seconds. 27, 28 seconds gone. Broke my record from yesterday because it took me over 80 minutes to burn 700 calories. And I'm still rolling. And I'm on a roll on. seven seconds my speed's coming down now it was rolling on 40 something distance traveled 41 kilometers 68 that's the odometer 834 calories burned for saving me. Thank God for giving me the strength to lean his hands upon my shoulder today to get me through this exercise. I want to thank him for all the love and support he surrounds me with. Thank him for my friends and my family. I want to thank him for you your encouragement, your inspiration. Help motivate me. Help me move. God's good. He is indeed so good. Ninety-three, almost ninety-four minutes. 42 kilometers traveled. Still rolling, but I'm softly rolling, taking my speed down to a half, completely halfway down. 846 calories burned. Very important not to just jump up off this bike when the time says get up. Because um, you need to stretch and you need to cool down and bring your heart rate down slow. Otherwise, you'll probably fall over on the floor. After an exercise like this, being a full-blown hour and a half plus 
as hard as I could go, burning 850 calories. I need to rehydrate. Uh, that's gonna be easy. Uh, 25 seconds left for my cool down. I'm sipping on a 44 ounce container of water. 854 calories in total burned for today's today's exercise, guys. Girls, everybody. 95 minutes. You see I went strong. You know I went hard. For a distance of 42 kilometers, 42.77 kilometers, which is probably 30 miles, 855 calories. Ninety-five minutes and fifteen seconds. Oh. At a speed of about forty-one point something. Then I brought it down my last five minutes to twenty-two something. I'm very proud of that. I'm satisfied with the results from today. That's how we roll, guys. That is indeed how we roll. If you don't think you can do it, watch my videos. Anything's possible as long as you believe in God and yourself. You can do anything. That's how we roll.